Uh, okay, so, uh, well, here's a thing that I, uh, kinda didn't really make a video on. I should probably explain. So I don't really know where I should start recording this, but... Uh, I could go to the Ruby Center and show you that the bulk storage for concrete is empty. Not so much concrete powder, because we were able to generate that. So you see, we have a generator on the other side in the overworld that can generate, you know, sand and dropped items, and that works really great. But for the longest time, we had this entire area totally cleared out and uh, nothing in it, because frankly, I think it was Vilgot and Oreo who were going to work on this project, and then if you know anything about Minerva trauma recently, Oreo left, and Vilgot lost interest in, like, playing on this world because he thinks we've done everything and whatnot. I don't know, he's, he's taking a break. You know, it's normal people coming in and out of Minecraft. I personally take breaks every few days, so you gotta keep it fresh, and he kind of burnt himself out. Which means that this project was pretty much abandoned for ever. <laughs> uh, nobody did anything and no plans were there. And I actually DM'd Vilgot a few days ago asking him which design they were going to make and if we could get a schematic of it. And that exact same night, not 19 minutes later, I'm not even joking, I looked this up because it surprised me so much, Daniel uh, comes into the speaking place says, hey man, I was kind of thinking about the concrete generator and how we should probably kind of work on that. Because like I explained, we can do powder, but we didn't have anything to convert it to concrete. And then we started working on it. And this was in a live stream. I'll link it up here if you're on PC. It'll be in the description if you're on mobile. You guys can go check out that live stream right now uh, where we actually built up quite a bit of this. Daniel did a lot of this alone. I was eating and doing some other stuff, uh, setting up the Patreon kind of stuff. And uh, the patron server, a video on that coming out soon. And uh, that was it. We kind of just built this whole thing in a live stream. And in the exact same live stream, I, I kind of had this uh, heart sinking moment where I was like, oh, God, we're going to need storage for this. We don't have any storage at spawn. I mean, this is a huge amount of storage that we need for these amount of items because this thing dupes at 108,000 items an hour, which means we're going to need 12 uh, hoppers minimum to pick up the items because each hopper can only handle about 9,000 items an hour. Uh, so what we opted for is something a little interesting. I'll have to show you this up here uh, because if you were going to dupe one type of item each, you know, put all 12 spots in the generator for pink, pink concrete powder, uh, we're going to need 12 hoppers. So we opted for a 7 wide design, just because it's a nice, you know, 7 by 5 high, 3.5 million items, and uh, we can easily do 2 hoppers. So we have filters on this side and filters on this side, which are both leading into our shulker, shulker loader. And I'm actually really, really, really proud of this, because you can't have a double speed hopper filter that sorts twice the speed of a normal one if you uh, don't use minecarts. And we did not want the 224 minecart entities required to load this thing. So what we opted for was our, was our double speed loader. And this wiring is different. I am going to make a video on this updated wiring because it's better than our last design. I'll still link that design up here in the corner. If you're on PC, description. And if you're on mobile, uh, you guys can go check that out because it's, uh, it's a pretty good design uh, where it really does exactly what I'm saying here. It just fills a shulker box with two hoppers instead of one, so it's twice as fast. But the filter for it was always tricky, so I came up with this idea that I think is pretty clever. We have one hopper filter here, which will go straight down into the shulker box loader and load just like a normal shulker box loader, but only when it's going really, really fast, you know, if you're sorting like a lot of uh, pink, it'll come all the way around the entire item stream and then go through the second set of filters where it will just fill in from the other side and then it'll be working twice as fast. And I don't know if this will normally work for items, I think it should work completely fine. Um, if you're only filling it from this right side, it'll never detect that it's like full because it won't back up into this hopper. So this one does absolutely need priority. And I haven't actually checked the wiring on this, but I'm pretty sure this side should have priority if Daniel filled it in from the left side, which as you can see, he didn't. Uh, he didn't fill this knowing entirely what I had planned for this thing. So uh, it was supposed to go around this outside and then come along here where it'll have priority on the right side and then it'll make its loop and then go to the secondary hopper filters. Uh, all I have to do is redirect this thing. So big props to Daniel, but my story is not done yet. So we went with this design here, and it looks really fantastic. So each of these, um, uh, each of these seven wide things are actually shulker box filled, and none of these are full because the concrete duper isn't actually running yet. A little bit of it's broken, apparently. Uh, I'm going to single-handedly fix that, don't you guys worry. Uh, that'll be in this video as well. And the storage solution that kind of freaked me out, I was like, oh my god, we can't have it in spawn. Um, I don't really know how I got to these loaders so quickly, but yeah, we, we need a lot of storage for this. So 
I didn't want to do it at spawn because I'm like, I honestly to this day don't even remember why we brought our sand and gravel over to the overworld. Oh, you know what? I think it was because we had that duper that sends it through the end to the overworld. But in this case, it's reversed. We have a secondary stronghold. I mean, different from the one we usually go in where the duper set up. And actually, somebody floated a pretty cool idea of running two of these with multiple accounts online so you could you know, dupe 216,000 an hour, that's a whole other thing. But ours comes to the end, so I figured, why not just keep it here? You know, concrete's not really something you need in bulk, and or it's not something you need until it's in bulk, so why don't you just kind of come here once in a while, you can pull it out of these shulker boxes here, or you can just pull out other shulker boxes here. And I mentioned that this design might not work because um, in a smaller scenario, but since this thing is going to be a steady stream of 108,000 items an hour, you know, unseizing, flowing through here like a faucet. I mean, all of these hoppers will be active, kind of like rendering a video with a CPU if you guys are nerds like I am. So it shouldn't ever be a problem. But uh, yeah, let's talk about this room. I am so happy with this. Let me actually, hopefully this world is still up uh, or else this is gonna be embarrassing. Beautiful, okay. So we actually hopped into, this is actually the exact same seed. Uh, we have a copy of Minerva in a creative world. And honestly, I wish I could thank everyone who helped me out here. Uh, with Pablo, with the wiring here, this is his shulker box loader. Um, he and I kind of worked with this, uh, this condensing the wiring from the last design. Uh, Sig was around, Iron was around, Daniel obviously did a ton of work helping. Um, you see, when he noticed, Daniel, I gotta give him major credit because I was kind of annoyed because we were still designing the facade for this. Like I said, in the live stream, you guys can get an absolute perfect recollection of everything that went into this. It's a fairly long live stream, but we did all of it on camera, you guys. You can go through the whole experience with us if you click that link in the description below. But you know, I had little moments when I freaked out because I just did like this little roof design, world edit, just stacked it seven times. It was like, oh, this is fantastic. And even somebody in the comments suggested we raise this up a block, and I'm happy we did. This looks really, really great. Um, no builders involved. Hey, just us nerds kind of went ahead and built something that looks moderately good because we wanted a hangar. And as you saw in the survival world, this all goes totally underneath. And the big props to Daniel, <clears throat> I'm already a spectator, comes from the fact that he recognized that we were making decent progress, and he also recognized just how much of this land that we were going to need to blow out. So I give props to him because it worked out. To, it worked out so that he had cleared the space for this room, obviously using TNT, uh, almost exactly the same time that we finished the design for this. So when we were still in creative working on this with our group of people, he had like split the group in half and almost everybody had gone to the other world to work on this. So it was just me, me, Sir, and uh, Pablo were working on this thing and the wiring and just kind of you know, crossing our T's, dotting our I's kind of thing. Like, underneath some of these carpets still had some vestigial blocks and, you know, whatnot. Uh, changing the colors, what, whatever. And uh, he... This worked really great. I mean, this, this project happened so perfectly. I had the idea for this, and then everybody hopped in and helped me join. And I felt like I was being a little bossy with the design of it, but the carpets were somebody else's idea. The crafting tables, the colored glass indicating each one, like everything was just a great team effort and I really 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 love this project. Uh, I think it turned out fantastic. I mean this thing is just about entirely set up and even further props to Daniel. During that live stream, I had been up for about 19 hours, so I kind of lazily, sort of tiredly quit right after we designed this in survive or in the creative world. So I'm like, well, this is finished. I'm I'm just gonna end the stream and go to bed, guys. Daniel and his crew, because he kind of lobbied everyone who was helping out, he, they all finished this in survival. Like, I did not place a block down here. In fact, my shulker boxes from my inventory should be over here. Here should be a little red, and oh, they drained my redstone. <laughs> I'm going to have to head to the Ruby Center and fill that up, but yeah. So, I'm just so happy. This was a total thing, and um, this was a total success. I was over here at the shulker spawner, actually getting shulker shells, because Daniel said I needed to... Uh, get a lot of them, so I did, and I, I kind of woke up this morning with a massive wall of depression, and ugh, it was bad, I was kind of glued to my bed, I think part of it's because my grandma was out here, she's out here now, but I needed to record this video, so I'm just talking, and I, and I don't want to wake her up, but I need to make my videos when I wake up, or else I felt like a caged bird the way I wrote it to Daniel, and I just kind of felt sad, stayed in bed all day, slept a weird amount of hours, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but... I'm happy to log back on and work on some projects now, get the patron server announced and set up and everything, and it's it's really, really fantastic. So all that needs left here, at least for the end of this video, <clears throat> is I need to get this concrete duper working, so I'll sign in a second account, get that up and running. I think Southern might even be active. Is he 
I don't know, he didn't say hi or anything. He might be AFK at like a fishing farm that doesn't make him look AFK. But the shulker sh boxes were loaded in through here, and we just have a line of hoppers. Okay, I'm not sure how filled it is, but that's just about everything for this project. Uh, massive success. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, I think this is Mango's concrete duper design. You guys can check it out with the link in the description below. Total credit to him for this. Um, I, I don't remember why we picked this. It wasn't really my decision. Just It's a regular concrete duper that should produce way more concrete than we need. And uh, I'm happy to say that this project is done. So... I'm making this video just because it's a, this is, should be a little bit of an easier to digest episode. You know, like a 15 to 20 minute tops episode, I'll try to keep it short, you guys, uh, is a lot easier than a five and a half hour stream. Because I know that not everybody likes my streams. I've been streaming more because they're just so much fun, you guys. But uh, I understand that some people want updates on my Nerva, and uh, this is what we did during a stream. All of this was done off camera. I don't think anybody recorded this. And I have to actually say, as a side note, like, I'm surprised at how laggy this isn't. Uh, server's been running at 20 TPS rock solid. I mean, the new dedicated host is fantastic. We don't really lag anymore. Even at a low TPS, everybody agrees that I am, like, my Nerva's active, you guys. From 14 people online and, like, 10 of them actively playing and not just AFK, I can assure you that the game still runs smooth. In really, really bad environments, if we're all flying around doing laggy stuff, it can dip down to, like, 8 to 10 TPS. But the world just kind of slows down. Like at 10 TPS, uh, redstone clocks operate at half speed, but you can still do stuff. You know, like mining is, is lagless. We never rubber band anymore uh, at all. I mean, Ruby Center sorting doesn't even matter. Everybody in different areas with their own mob caps, entities everywhere, it's totally fine. Um, it just kind of slows down, which the only negative is like ender pearls take a little while, eating I think takes a little while, that's mostly dependent on your ping, and flying with an elytra off one block is difficult, but I mean what do you expect from a dozen plus people playing, so super super big props to the dedicated server. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna hop back into survival off camera, get this concrete duper working, and maybe I'll show some updates of what's wrong with it and see if I can't get this working. Alright, I said this would be off camera, but I always figure it's fun to do the uh, live test off camera. Oh, said hi. I don't think Southern's here. Interesting though, he is moving around trading, so I don't... I don't know. Anyway, he might have a macro or something. So, uh, schematic, as always, very, very important. If You guys, if you're ever bug fixing... I turn on monitor capture to show the other account, but if you're ever... Pff, wrong one. Ah, there we go. If you're ever bug fixing a farm, Schematica is essential. Like, I spotted up there a repeater was off delay. That's not good. That button needs to be there to break the items. They destroyed the water. Let me get up top here. There does need to be some broken obsidian here. Boop. Right there. There's an egg from the chickens and the duper. Okay, cool. I don't care about obsidian. Uh, let's drop down. Okay. Now, I need to turn on this clock to start the movement. I'm pretty sure this is... Supposed to be powered. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so that should start things. And then when I turn this on, it should start activating. I'll go to my second account here and turn the farm on. There we go. Should be duping. Let's head to spectator. Uh, okay. Uh, that looks like it's working, actually. That definitely looks like it's working. Awesome. Um, maybe nothing's wrong at all. Maybe it really was just the repeater. Items are coming in, they're sliding along, my FPS is certainly dropping, these are coming together. They did mention that blocks were coming up, that can happen I suppose if the TNT doesn't break it properly, but everything seems to be going along just fine. And the items should be flowing along, oh that's not good, that's not good. I can totally fix that. Um, yeah, this is what I meant by him plugging into the wrong side, but as far as... <laughs> so this was supposed to be a fixing video. Um, you know what might be different? Um, they did swap these uh, dispensers out for dispensers instead of TNT dupers. I think the TNT dupers themselves... Yeah, this is already breaking. Okay, cool. Because I think the TNT dupers themselves... Let me just turn this off over here. This is going to be a mess. The TNT dupers are supposed to drop items at like 4 items per second. I mean, these are the same ones as we use in the flying machine. Uh, over here, it seems to be running perfectly fine which is interesting, but the other one isn't. Um, as a side note, I, I realize I never actually mentioned how this works. I mean, basically the powder comes in, gets slid along, brushed past water, and then turns to concrete. Pretty simple, but okay. I'm going to tinker with this TNT duper and see what's up. I'm following a glass block because it accidentally got into the stream. 
Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know where that went. It is a while later than watching The Office. I might have blown up a TNT duper, because I figured, why would you need a block behind the TNT? Don't worry, I figured it out. Uh, this should complete the circuit, and then be fine, and then duplicate it in the water, and then it falls down. Okay. So, I think the problem with the dispenser TNT is it might have been um, out of sync, you know? TNT didn't fall in the exact same spot every time or something. I really don't know. But, this should be fine. Now I just need to build the other side and we should be good. I also found a nice way to turn this into a sand duper if I convert to the other world here. Um, I was just tinkering around with the test world because everything wasn't working the same. I just needed something to compare to and uh, figured it out. And I realized, hey, we can drop this down onto a... Oh, you know what? I opened it up to a land server and that might have broken it. Anyway, if you drop the sand on top of like a soul sand with water, it'll break immediately and then we can just funnel that into an ice stream. So that way we can have uh, sand and gravel and I think dragon eggs work with this farm. Dragon eggs should work. I think so. I don't know. I haven't even tested, but they probably will. So... Yeah, everything is going good. I'm going to set up these dupers, fix a little bit of this, and then uh, give it a trial run. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to do what all smart decisions stem from. We're going to do a live test on camera without actually double-checking Schematica. So, let's see if this works. Um, okay, so this is something that actually happened in creative mode, where the items just kind of don't fall through properly. So I don't really know what causes this, but the items break here, and I'm not quite sure why it does that. Let's go to monitor capture and see if we can just turn this off. Start the other one. And then give it another shot. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go full screen here. And if it's working properly, then everything should get blown up. And we should be dropping concrete. And as far as I can tell, it is keeping up just fine. Although this isn't working over here. Okay, I can break all that sand. It seems like that's happening on every other side. Okay, so I'm going to break that and then see you again. Well, as far as I can tell, this is a smashing success. Get it? Because I don't know that anything's smashing. But I did white concrete, honestly, because we were building this out of white concrete. And I didn't have any blocks left, which is a little backwards. But... As far as I can tell, that's a visual error, and everything is working completely fine. So the reason we needed this back slime block is it actually positions the TNT in such a way so that it perfectly lines up with the water, and then it drops back down. And I think this needs to be a slab because it might send the TNT flying back. I don't know, I just destroyed it to be safe. Alright, the next order of business is to finish up these walls. And the glass is done, so I'm going to finish up the video here, actually. Of course, this is an ongoing project. Of course, we haven't quite finished the staircase leading in or really filled up all the shulker boxes yet, but uh, that's kind of it for this episode. This is just kind of an update on what we were working on inside of the stream, and uh, apparently I didn't realize that we had about 600 and some entities sitting here, so let me just deal with that real quick. <laughs> uh, fill that, and the entity count should decrease by a lot but uh, there is more sand somewhere else. So I'm going to go track that down, and uh, that's it for me, guys. Or that's it for you guys. I'm going to keep working off camera, but the video here is done.